I'm Eric Anderson from Rocksore, Mahindra Automotive North America and Rocksore Adventure Magazine with another fun-filled and informational episode on how to prepare and pack your vehicle. You know, the further off the grid you go and the longer you're gone, the higher the chances are you're going to need something oh, that you just forgot or don't have. So prepping and packing for a long trip off-road requires a lot more than just, you know, the common bug out bag that we covered in one of our other previous episodes. An off-road driver and a likely passenger have more than themselves to look after because the vehicle itself has needs, especially if it's abused or broken in hardcore driving situations. You know, Rocksores are some of the most durable vehicles on the planet due to their super simple and almost analog construction. So one might call them old school slow, while we long distance off-roaders call them stone cold reliable. No, they aren't the fastest vehicle out there, but you can pretty much guarantee you're going to get to where you want to go. Whatever vehicle you choose, be sure you're thinking of its needs as well as your own before packing for your trip. Start to compartmentalize your brain and your gear into four sections. So this is section one. All the tools and vehicle needs, mostly in one box, I like to carry a compressor with a long extension cord so you can get to all four tires. I also like to carry a bottle jack, always nice to have just in case the high lift jack isn't necessary. These are various and a sundry recovery ropes, bubba rope, tow rope or snap strap, a little bit of a mule tape, and then these are recovery ropes that go around a tree and of course the winch control. All that's going to go under the seat in the rock store. Big, generously sized toolboxes underneath. Always got to have a funnel for oil, um, a tire repair kit, which I have in an old leather bag. Um, we've got jumper cables, a couple of different tools kits. One will go under the seat, one in this box, lug wrench, oils, tire repair, as well as brake fluid, and a siphon hose. I also have this old gas can that's been converted into a toolbox. Got lots of epoxy, uh, bar stop leak for radiators, and an extra first aid kit. Section two, survival, water, first aid. I like to carry water in a blob because as the trip goes on, it gets smaller. Always carry first aid. In fact, I've got a couple of first aid kits in here, an emergency parka, and I always carry plastic ponchos. Um, I threw in my GPS, which will actually go on the dashboard of the Rocksore, along with my satellite tracker. Uh, this is an emergency LED uh, light as well as a power pack for starting a vehicle with dead batteries. It also charges cell phones. I love to take glow sticks just in case. You can read by them or you can use them in an emergency and I always carry trash bags too. These are not only just for trash but also for waterproofing or dust proofing anything that really needs it inside these ammo boxes. So this is section three, cooking and camping needs, and food. I carry dehydrated food in a dry bag like this. Got a Coleman lantern along with fuel for the stove right here too. A life straw just in case for purifying water. Always carry a Bic lighter, match, waterproof matches, uh, anything that you need there or pots. Obviously insect repellent, my classic coffee pot that's been around the world with me. A sledgehammer for tent stakes sleeping bag, tent, and sleeping pad. I also have some personal gear back here in another waterproof bag. So this is section four, sanitation, personal hygiene needs. I always like to carry a bag or bucket. This works to hold water as well, and a folding shovel with to toilet paper. The rubber band's a really good idea. And then this is the bug out bag from our previous episode with all my personal needs inside. We're not done yet because we still need to stack all this in the cargo area and tie it down securely so it doesn't bounce or squeak on all those big bumps we're planning on hitting and rolling over today. The big boxes go on the bottom, the smaller ones on top, soft goods go in between and awkwardly shaped chairs can strap on last. 
to hold the pile all together. Use these tie down anchors already on Rocksaur's rear cargo area. Now you're ready, mission ready. Head out and enjoy the wild, unpredictable adventure out there somewhere near the horizon. Take pictures and share them with us at hashtag Rocksaur Off Road. We'd love to see how you prepare for your adventure.